Ladies and gentlemen from Barclays Center here in Brooklyn, Premier Boxing Champions presents a special attraction in the ring. It is brought to you by TGB Promotions in association with Dabella Entertainment, ECB Promotions, and Showtime. Sponsored by MGM Resorts and Brooklyn Boxing. Introducing our three judges, scoring them out from ringside. From Yorktown Heights, New York, John Basili. From Ventnor City, New Jersey, Joseph Pasquale. And from New York City, Waluska Roldan. Introducing our third man to the ring, the referee in charge of this bout, Sade Murdaugh. All right, fans, here we go. Ten rounds of boxing scheduled in a heavyweight special attraction. Introducing to you first on my left, he is fighting out of the red corner. Wearing blue trunks with red and yellow trim. Fighting out of Hamburg, Germany by way of Galati, Romania. He weighed in at 257 and one half pounds. His record stands at 24 wins, five losses with 14 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight he is making his U.S. debut. Please welcome the two-time European champion and WBO number 12 ranked heavyweight contender, introducing Christian Hammer. His opponent across the ring on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, entering the ring wearing white trunks with gold trim, fighting out of Miami, Florida by way of Camagüe, Cuba. He weighed in at 238 and three quarter pounds with a record of 30 wins, one loss, two no decisions with 26 big wins coming by way of knockout. Curry Lorenc, the WBC number three contender. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the popular, hard-hitting former world title challenger, introducing Luis King Kong Ortiz. Once again, our third man to the ring, referee in charge, Sade Murdaugh, now to give instructions. Step up. Christian, step up. Right here. Right here. Step up. Step up. Still step up. Espero una play limpia. Obedezca mis instrucciones a todos tiempos. Protegese a todos tiempos. Que gane el mejor. Buena suerte. This is all good, okay? Obey the commands at all times, protect yourselves at all times. When I call for the break, give me the clean break. Okay, let's go. Shade Murdoch, referee in charge, showing off his Spanish. Shade Murdoch, look at that, giving the instructions of Luis Ortiz in Spanish. Ortiz and. Step back, step back, step back, step back. Step back, step back. His adversary tonight, Christian Hammer. Ortiz weighed in. This is the lightest he's been, 238 and three The lightest he's been in four years, and he looks in impeccable shape. But now Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury, number two not happening. Who knows? This victory might propel Ortiz to potential rematch against Deontay Wilder. I'd love to see that. Hammer is wearing the blue trunks, the Romanian flag on Watch the feet, watch the feet. The back of his trunks. Ortiz wearing the white with the gold. Big straight left already by Ortiz. Ortiz is a very talented boxer, but also he can put you away in quick fashion. I'd also like to see a matchup between Luis Ortiz and Gillian White. How good would that be? Sign me up for that one. Big straight left that connected by Ortiz. And straight to Ortiz here in Brooklyn. Ten round matchup. This one's scheduled. Right hook to the body by Ortiz, burying his attack. Another straight left by Luis Ortiz, who is a southpaw. Hammer is coming forward. Straight left by Luis Ortiz. Hammer.
Hammer hasn't done anything significant so far here in the fight. The opening round as Ortiz putting out that jab. What a shot by Ortiz. That may have shaken up Christian Hammer. Trainer Herman Casado for Luis Ortiz. They've been together for quite some time. Final stages of round one. Filling out process, but Ortiz has already worked himself into a sweat. Do not blink when Luis Ortiz inside that ring. Bonito. Listen. Dalo volado, okay? No, no entregue esa, esa, ese golpe con la mano derecha de él. Okay? Pila con eso. Mueva la línea, no te quedes en la línea, mueva la línea. Yeah, don't, don't stay on the line. Es importante. Va durmiéndolo con el jab. No, tiene que llevar. Toca lo duro abajo, touch him, okay? touch him, Toca lo duro abajo con el jab y después le metes un swing en la red detrás de un jab así de medito, okay? Jam, jam, jam. Very good. Very good. Very good runde. Very good runde bestial, very good. Que plan que dulce. Ahora. Sagazo. Sagazo. Let's go. Sagazo, let's go. Christian Hammer is Errol Selene. I do not translate German. I do Spanish, however. For Ortiz, 14 of his last 15 wins have come by a knockout or stoppage. There's never been a Cuban heavyweight champion ever. Watch your heads, watch your heads. Might be from a clash of heads. It looked like Ortiz was hurt for a brief moment. Bravo. Who would have thought that was the case? I got I got I got a stop punch. Hammer is a significant underdog heading into this matchup. For Ortiz, he was undefeated up until last March 3rd when he lost to Deontay Wilder. Watch your feet, watch your feet. Watch your feet. A spectacular fight that was. <laughs> Los Pies, Los Pies. was so lively. The crowd was just on another planet. <laughs> A straight left that found its mark for Ortiz. Hammer looking for his opening. But Ortiz is stalking him, locking him down. Don't do that, don't push, don't push. Get it again. 
Again, this is when Sortiz. I don't think the glove touched the ground at all. I mean, it wasn't even from a punch. Take a look at it. Ah, oh, you know what? It did. It did. Thanks to my producer telling me, yes, it did then. Or a job by our staff. It could have been ruled a knockdown. But it wasn't. Now let's take a look at what happened later on in the round as King Kong would come with a pen. It says it's a left saw. The body's not supposed to move that. Second out. That's not Second out. But when you have such a big power puncher with velocity behind it, that Box. is what it does to your body. Talk about it. You've heard of soul crushing. That's a body crushing blow by Luis Ortiz. And Hammer is already breathing heavily. Took a big deep breath to start round three. Got to give Christian Hammer his due credit. He's still in this one. He's using the jam as a rangefinder, trying it out there. I get through the body. Watch your heads, folks. Watch it. Watch it. And it has come off the clock here in this third round. So far, it has been the Luis Ortiz show. Not too much being shown out of Christian Hammer. Wondering if his whole philosophy is to wait to see if Ortiz will tire. Christian Hammer. He is 31 years of age. Eight years younger Definitely than defeat, Ortiz. Fellas. Yes. He's walking towards Hammer. You know he wants to throw. He's waiting for that opening. I'm surprised not pumping the jam. Right hand that connected by Hammer as Ortiz came forward. There's a jam. Awesome for Luis Ortiz. His daughter is dealing with a rare skin disease that he fights for every single day, he says. Big straight left. That connected by the hand. Ortiz got another on that hand. They both caught their gloves to try to show that they are more macho and have more bravado than the other. Ortiz misses with the right hook. As we near the end of the third. That's the end of the third. Luis Ortiz going back to his corner for the last. Mejor round. Okay? Better round. Mira, no te animes en noqueo. Eso viene. Eso viene ya solo. Mira cómo está. Siga tocando la baja. El jab abajo le va a hacer más daño a lo que usted está pensando y no me lo está tirando. Ya veo la abajo, pero no te me le quedes en la línea para la recta de él. Y no me ataques en la línea. Saca el pie y ataca ese lado. Quítale la recta. Here we see very close. Okay, there's a clash of heads. That stunned Ortiz. Ortiz's glove did touch the canvas, and it could have been really a knockdown, but it was not. And again, a brilliant job by Ortiz. Oh, and that was, and here is a big left from round three, compliments of Luis Ortiz. Round four, this one's scheduled for 10. Ortiz, who is only blemish, came at the hands of the reigning WBC heavyweight champion of the world. 
Deontay Wilder, 364 days ago here at Barclays Center. Since that time, Ortiz has gotten a stoppage victory over Rosman Kajani and over Travis Coffin. Jab coming to the body, and uh, you can tell that Ortiz is listening to his trainer, Herman Casado. He said, do not enter on the line, but don't stay stationary. What they mean by staying on the line is they don't want to target the big straight I'm all shook up, but he shook him up big time with that big straight left. He's picking his spots. Christian Hammer, he has a pretty hard head. I mean, the way it looks like, he's getting some pretty big shots. To his skull, and he's been able to absorb him pretty much with no problem. 80 seconds remaining here in the fourth. Bine, Cristi. Hai că a fost. Stai închis. O luptă necesită și trozneală la greu. E bine, mă. Bine, bine. E ok. Hai să Calm. Fii calm. E totul e bine. Fii calm că totul e bine până aici. Ortiz, who's a softball, because Hammer hasn't bought a softball, a pure softball, in seven years. Set us out! Set us out! Round number five, this one is scheduled for ten. Great to be with all of you here. Barclay Center in Brooklyn. Ray Flora is here in Brooklyn. Make sure to use the hashtag on social media. Lara Castaño, and follow me at SBR Flores, wherever you're joining us around the world. Luis Ortiz trying to make a case for a heavyweight championship rematch against Deontay Wilder. Who knows who Wilder will fight now that Tyson Fury has elected to bypass the rematch. Ortiz is a heck of a finisher. Only one has to be able to finish is Deontay. Right hand that was partially blocked by Ortiz. 
Ortiz. 100 seconds left. That was done a heck of a kill. Because he's taking some abuse in that ring. Ortiz looks very good. He's got to be thinking about oh, this. He's got to be thinking about this. That was most wonderful punch. And I believe it. Someone coming out of the mouth of Luis Ortiz. Wow. That was a big shot by Hammer. And Ortiz, I don't know if he's going to punch him. Or if he was physically hurt. Because there's blood coming out of the mouth of Luis Ortiz. But Ortiz has his back. I did not think this was even in the realm of possibility to enter this one. Ortiz's mouth is literally spitting out blood. He might have bitten his tongue or whatever the case may be. I'm curious as we go into the corners. Big shot by Hammer. He's going right back on the offensive. <laughs> it, business has picked up on the right hand that counts. Bob Hammer straight left. They both are standing for a That's the fifth round for him. Tranquilito. Relax, relax, tranquil. Let me get a wrap around the head. Vamos, respira tranquilo. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Turn around, turn around. Turn around, turn around. Turn around, turn around. It's nothing, just blood in the nose. Este te va a aguantar todo lo que tú le vas a tirar a la cabeza, ¿ok? Oíste? Todo lo que tú le tiras a la cabeza, él te va a aguantar. And here is, you take a look at some of the work from the fifth. And here is when Ortiz got blasted. And that is when he starts to... Six coming up. His All nose right. is bloody. Check this out. And I don't know if Ortiz Hey, give me a towel was, right here. Give me a towel right here. Go, right give me a towel there. right here. I thought he was hurt, but then it looked like he was dancing salsa. Watch. Sort of using some theatrics to throw off Christian Hammer. Round number six, this one's scheduled for 10. Christian Hammer giving a solid account of himself here in this one. Jeff coming out by Ortiz, followed by a straight left, and Ortiz is observing his work. Let's go Hammer and Hammer placates to the crowd. I don't think he wants to do that too much because Ortiz can turn on your lights in any moment. But his confidence is growing. That is without a doubt. Christian Hammer said, all right, I've taken some of the best punches that Ortiz has thrown at me. Now it's time for me to execute my game plan. Maybe this was the plan all along. Wait for the older fighter to tie himself out. And then you go to work. Straight left, right on the head by Ortiz. The jab for Ortiz, a right hook to the body. A left hand to the body by Ortiz. I don't know how doing. side of the rib cage of the Hammer. But Hammer answers back. This is where Luis Ortiz is going to try to go to work. 
There's a jab by Ortiz right in the corner of Christian Hammer. Hammer looking for his opening, as is Ortiz. Big straight left that connected by Ortiz. Ortiz looking, sizing him up. Another straight left. And Hammer looks over at his corner and has to say, hey, I'm good, no problem. Boy, these gentlemen can certainly let the leather fly. Stop at the bell. As we near the end of round six. And there is the challenger in our main event of the evening. It is Landy Lada, the American dream. Sebastian Contursi from the Castaño camp with the glasses over the right shoulder of Lada watching as they glove up the challenger. What you think, and here is Brian Castaño from Argentina, the champion as he gets set for his clash against that is Landi Lada. That is up next from right here at Barclays Center. Check us out! Check us out! Let's go, coach! We got to go! Watch your heads, fellas. Watch your heads. Go to the face up. So round seven scheduled for 10. I really thought at this point of the fight that it was Ortiz who would have been able to dispatch up Hammer. But Christian Hammer is certainly very tough and durable. And just a rough and rugged competitor. Down by Ortiz. Herman Casado, they want Ortiz to differentiate his attack. Ortiz, they want him to go to the body now. Down to the ribcage in the midsection of Hammer. Careful with the heads, fellas. Careful with your heads. Shadi Murdoch warning them about leading the head. Nice right uppercut that found its mark for Ortiz. There's a straight left to the body, followed by one upstairs to the chin. to go here in round seven. Forty seconds remaining here in this heavyweight matchup between Luis Ortiz and Christian Hammer. Their activity level has lessened to a degree.
la parte suave es abajo, no le gusta abajo, ¿ok? Esa es la parte suave que no le gusta. Si ya con el jab y ese es el ritmo que quiero ver, ese boxeo, así. Así no te estancas ahí, tú no de 300 libras, ¿ok? Tú no de 200 libras. Tú no de 200 libras, ¿ok? 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 De contra, să ai dreapta sus. Fai din corp. Fai din corp, nu te grăbești, că dă cont. E mai cuando sta contra la două. Cristil, la contra îi faci... Pero quiero ver el ritmo y el boxeo. Quítate de las líneas. With your rhythm and boxing, boxing and rhythm. Round 8, this one is scheduled for 10. Luis Ortiz and Christian Hammer. Herman Caicedo wants Ortiz to go to the body and then come up to the head. He wants body, then head. That's what he wants. Hey, 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 stop. Don't do that. 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 Don't He has been, you know, in sports he's been competitive, but to say he went the distance with Luis Ortiz is something in a feat that not many people have been able to say they can do. Could it be age creeping up with Luis Ortiz as he will be 40 years of age coming up at the end of the month? Quite possible. His game plan to try to lure the top heavyweights to fight him. I'm actually very curious to see because I, I was expecting a more aggressive Luis Ortiz here tonight. And typically that's what we get tonight with a hit in. Él ya está contento con ya que tú no lo noques, ¿ok? Él ya está contento con eso. Entonces, tiene que atacarle con el jab, ¿ok? Tiene que atacarle con el jab, pero principalmente, principalmente, no te le me lances Listen. en la línea del frente, porque lo único que tiene Don't es un volado de loco o una recta de loco, ¿no? Se agacha así, paso para atrás, Luisito. ¿Ok? Cuando Listen. él se te agacha así, un paso para atrás y el open. ¿Ok? DJ é morto. Respira. Vai, respira. Respira, Cristi. Há duas reprises. Braços. Vai, até em braços. Sai que são! Sai que são! Round 9, this one is scheduled for 10. Luis Ortiz and Christian Hammer. As we are in the penultimate round here at Barclays Center. Ray Flores ringside. Still to come. 
That'll be Brian Castagna putting his title on the line against Adeslandi Lara. That is next. From the Barclay Center. at 257 and a half, so he outweighed Ortiz by about 19 pounds. Halfway mark of round nine. Right hook that found its destination for Ortiz. Ortiz's team, trainer Herman Casado, they go, go to the body already. <laughs> Ortiz spitting out some blood from, that's likely caused because of that right hand from Hammer, bloodying up his nose a little bit. Hi, Christian. Christian L. Last round, last round. Hi. Last round, last round. Christian. Christian, relax. Hi, you okay? Te stima. You okay, da? Yes, I'm here. That's all yet. Bam. You gotta knock him out this round. Open round. No, 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 me, mira. No me ataques lanzándote. Ahí tranquilito, okay? Bam. Pero trabajando. El tres minutos completo trabajando. Afuera de la línea. Tiene que trabajar. Okay? Tres minutos trabajando. Él va a tirar bola. Come on, man. final round underway. Between Luis Ortiz and Christian Hammer. Big right hand that missed by Hammer. Then he goes to the body of Ortiz. Still to come. Our main event, Brian Castaño puts his title on the line against it is Landy Lara. Sort 
Sees with a straight left on Hammer. And another good straight and left by Kings Hall. Halfway mark of round 10. We go to the scorecards. The judges are in agreement. We have a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Joseph Pasquale, scores about 100 to 90. And judges, Waleska Roldan and John Basili both scores about 99 to 91. All three in favor of the winner, Luis King Kong Ortiz. Ortiz picks up the victory by unanimous decision. All right, thank you very much. Felix De Jesus will translate for us. Uh, Luis, uh, how would you assess your performance this evening? 
¿Cómo tuvo la pelea? ¿Cómo tú dices que fue tu actuación esta noche? Bueno, eh, no fue lo que, lo que para mí yo esperaba. Hubo de, del equipo que trabajar y trabajar y trabajar y trabajar. Lo mismo que hicimos la vez anterior, la pelea con Cosma, era de, de buscar resistencia para contrario un poco más difícil. It wasn't what I was expecting. It was a hard fight, and my corner did really have to work hard with me to tell me what to do during this fight. But it was a hard fight. Did you hurt your left hand in about the fifth or sixth round because you seemed to be throwing the right jab consistently through the later rounds and not using it much? Did you hurt your left hand? Te, la, en el quinto sexto asalto no comenzaste a usar mucho la mano izquierda. Te, te adolorido o algo, tuvo un problemita no, con no. Eso pasa en el boxeo. No me ganó, me calenté hasta que cogí el ritmo. Yeah, after I got the rhythm, I uh, heated up a little bit, but no, there was no problem with the hand. You're going to be 40 years old at the end of this month. Did you feel it this evening? Tú vas a tener 40 años después de este mes. ¿Lo sentiste en el día de hoy? No. Eh, él sepa que every heavyweight se den cuenta que Queen Kong está listo todavía. No, that's uh, what, so every heavyweight out there could know that I'm still ready at 40. For Joshua Wilder, que yo estoy listo. Then Joshua Wilder, I'm ready. Okay. Uh, so you're not disappointed in not knocking him out. Entonces no está decepcionado que no lo noqueaste hoy. No, no, no me decepcioné. Ni hice un trabajo que hacía años no no lo hacía de trabajar y trabajar y trabajar. No, I did a job that I haven't done for years, which is box and work and all that. So I'm not disappointed that I did not come out. Every people saben lo que yo doy aquí a Riverín y cuando hay que echar candela yo la voy a echar. Well, we have to hit heat. We'll hit, give heat. But right now I show some of the boxing skills tonight. Luis, good luck. Good luck to your daughter. Hey. And thank you very much. We'll thank see you, you next you. time. Suerte a ti, suerte a tu hija. grande. Hoy he tenido mucha una bendición grande de tener al doctor Marikovic de la Universidad de Stanford aquí a mi lado y del el el trofeo que me dio la gente de la AB de la ABT. That's the biggest reason tonight that uh, the doctors are here for my little girl to see what's going to happen and also the uh, doctors and the uh, certificate they gave me to the IBT. Best of luck. Thank you. Hey,